Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a house that's um, functional just like a regular uh, SimuCraft house um, so that in other words you can build your own and have them have the Simu folks actually live in them and pay rent and everything. So I've made this really simple house, it's a, probably the smallest house you can probably make. Um, just show you around it, not very exciting. But I'm just going to show you this as an example of, of how to do it. So first of all, you need to use some markers to actually mark out the the, the area. And there is another video that explains markers a bit in more detail. So I'm just going to do this quite quickly just to show you. Primary marker down just there. Second marker just <laughs> there. And third marker just there. Um, as stated in the the other video, you need to place them down in that order for it to work. Um, okay, so once you've done that, just click on go up to the primary marker again and right click on it and you can read this if you like. Just click on the copy structure building button and then you'll get this message saying that it's been stored as that number there, 20468. So if you remember that so now if you come out of uh, Minecraft, I can show you how to make it an actual functional house that the Simu folks can live in. So if you open Windows Explorer and go to the, the Mods folder where you installed uh, Simu Craft, you can see there's a folder there and the, the zip file there. So if you go into the folder and then into the buildings and then into other, that's where it said it saved it. You see all the other buildings here, but that's the one that we've just made using those markers. Um, now these are just plain text files, so you can just open them up in Notepad. As you can see, it's, it's quite simple. Um, so what this represents is that it's the building we've just captured. Um, the A represents the air blocks, and you can see there's a, there's a few in there. and. Uh, various other things. What, what it is, if you ignore the first two lines, um, this first block here is the first block that's, that's placed when it's built. It's very, it's like the bottom left and this will be the uh, the back right, if that makes sense. And that's the first layer of blocks that are placed. That's the second layer and that will be the, the roof. Um, obviously your models might be a bit more complicated than this, but I'm just trying to keep it simple. So with that in mind, all you need to do really, mo most of the houses have got um, like the control panel as the front left block. So I'm just going to do the same here. All you need to do is replace the first character with a dollar sign. That's like a special character to represent where the control panel is placed. So you can place it indoors as well, um, but I'm just going to place it there. So when this gets built, that block there that was a plank will be replaced by the control panel instead. Uh, the next thing you can do is um, at night when the Simi folks come home, they stand in a particular place um, and that can be altered as well. The way you do that is um, you need to re replace a, um, an air block with an exclamation point. Now it'll be placed as an air block as normal, but when the game sees that, um, it'll place or get the the simu folk to walk to that uh, particular spot. So, like I say, this is the first layer that's the ground layer, so to speak. This is the second layer. You can remember, this uh, it was a very small house, so you can see there that there's, there's like two air blocks, one on top of each other, and that's where the player will stand. So all you need to do is put um, an exclamation point just there. That's where they'll stand, that's where their feet will be and their body and head will be in that air block there. But you only need to do where the feet will be. You don't need to do anything else. So that's all you need to do. Just uh, replace some of the characters with the dollar for the control box and an exclamation point for where they stand and then just save the file back as normal. Save the file like that. So one final thing you'll need to do, um, if you go into the buildings folder, which is in the, the SimuCraft folder itself, and then into other, you can see you've got the uh, the building I've just made. Um, 
you don't have to do this but it, it makes a lot, lot more sense if you give it a sensible name like uh, my tiny building but also the, the most important thing is you can't leave it in the other folder otherwise it won't be a residential building so just uh, right click and cut it out of there go back to buildings and then residential and then paste it into there and now that it's in there it, it'll um, show up as a residential building that you can build and it's got the control panel so the simi folks will be able to live in it so if we go back into minecraft now so now you can go ahead and build um, the custom building uh, somewhere else if I go over here and there's a nice spot Simucraft building constructor activated and the chest right and see now you can see my tiny building that I've just copied and placed into the residential um, just there and you can see it's the size and it's going to cost 46 cents quite cheap so just I'm click ready. on that and done and we'll need some we'll need some wood in there and some glass well some planks and glass See there, it's it place the control box down. <laughs> I find it quite amusing. There you go. So it's a fully functioning uh, house. And I think you can hear somebody beaming in, actually. It really hurts. <laughs> there you go. Somebody's just, uh, Jose Creeper has just moved in. She's off her way at home. So, yeah, you can see straight away if we go into the control panel, it's just a proper home, residential, and one resident. Mm -hmm.